Hello everybody, I am just Lance and I am absolutely thrilled to welcome you all back for another video. Today's drink is coffee um, from Starbucks, except it started out as a big ass bag of beans and I took my magic bullet and ground them all up into coffee grounds and pretty good. Anyways, like the title says, this is my Christmas haul. Anyways, there's one item that's not here right now. It was sent off to be restored by Guy Solis of the Shaping Chronicles. That's all I'll say. If you uh, watch his videos, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for those of you who don't, well, then you're gonna have to wait for the surprise. Need a bit of a shave, I'm about three days growth. Um, sorry I haven't posted anything, uploaded anything here on YouTube in a bit, but my computer, my phone, they have not been getting along. I've been trying to figure out why I cannot transfer my videos from my phone to my camera. I've tried everything I can. Um, I think I got it figured out. So this will be the seventh video I have filmed since my last one hopefully number seven is the charm uh shout out to nate from nate for shaving um didn't know he was a subscriber or forgot he was a subscriber he commented on that last video asked him if he was a su subscriber he said yes so nate welcome so much to the channel anyways let's go ahead and get on to the christmas haul First thing I'm going to show you is this, the Blade Master. Let me pull it out. Went ahead and had my girlfriend read me the instructions so I know what in the hell to do with this thing. But as you can see, you got this box here. It says Blade Master on that side, I do believe. Let me open it. Oops. That was upside down. Hang on a sec. There. Anyways, as you can see, it's a box with a cord, a loop on one end, a ball on the other. As you can see, it has homes here and here. Right now is a Gillette Super Blue Blade. That was in it when my girlfriend picked it up. But the way this works is you basically hold it like that, gently pressing it together. And you've got this loop at one end. You hook that over a peg or something, and then you pull it, you know, pull the slack out, and you hold this red, little red ball, and you just move it back you know, not doing real fast so you don't damage the homes. You just move it back and forth about 20 times. And that is what puts an edge back on your blade. I will probably maybe use this once because DE blades, they're cheap enough. But what I will probably do is go ahead and run this blue blade over the, over the, or through the paces see how it comes out and you know just just to see how it is that or maybe take an old blade and go ahead and uh you know when i get a blade that gets dull set there run it through it and see if it works and how well it works so that'll be interesting the second thing i'll show you or the next two things i'll show you are single edge razors now this razor that i'm going to show you my girlfriend looked on ebay and and I believe Etsy, she found them for like 30 bucks, between 20 and 30, and they came, and the ones for like 30 bucks, came with a cardboard box, and, um, and the razors looked a bit beat up, and that was it. Um, this one, nice hard case. It is a Christie single-edge razor, 
Let me see if it's still up here. Shoot, I'll see if I can find it and when I go ahead and use this on camera, I'll show you guys what it looks like. But this razor here actually went ahead and after World War I, the Christie Knife Company was possibly going to go under. Somebody came up with the idea to make a safety razor. So you open it up and that's what you get. It comes with a little booklet of blades. When you pull the blades out of this little cardboard sleeve, they're held in what looks like pages of a book. It also came with this. They call it a massage bar. It connects to the comb. How? I don't know. I haven't been able to figure it out. And there it is, guys. It says Christie across the top. And to get the comb out, you just grab it or the base plate, which when I got it, I was looking at like has no TTO knob, like a Micromatic. You can't take the handle off, separate. What the heck? Then my girlfriend knows these two little tabs on each side, which I missed. So basically, you grab the comb, pull it out like so. Then you put the Christie blade in. Now, since, of course, you can't go into Rite Aid or go online and buy Christie blades, I was like, oh, well, you know, it'll be a neat showpiece. However, you can load a Schick injector blade into these, and they work just fine. I've done two face shaves, one head shave with this Christie, and it gives really, really nice shaves. Five or six days growth, not so much, but two, three, four at the most, did just fine. Next one is another single edge razor. There's the case. It's a little beat up. It has some cracking and stuff on the material. It's got this neat little shield. And this is called a Ronson razor comes with instructions haven't read the instructions yet that's what it looks like there's one blade in here that's the box that the blades came in kind of I think they call it the cigar style ooh, 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 ooh. Don't want that to get damaged. Just drop my instructions for the Ronson in the sink. Let me pull the razor here out. And that's it, guys. That's the Ronson razor. Has this little bar on the back. Now, obviously, you can't go in a store and buy Ronson, ra uh, Ronson razor blades anymore. But I found a video on YouTube where you can modify a double-edged blade to fit these as you can see it's got really deep nice knurling and basically you would go boom and then you would load the blade in like in there and it's got an open comb right there and then basically you would take it give it a twist that way yep give it a twist viewfinder image Oops. Double tap and hold to adjust exposure. Adult. Zero hours. Nine minutes. Hang on, guys. One second. Adult. Zero. Stop recording video. Button. Sorry about that. Forgot to turn my voice over off. Accidentally touched my phone. But then when you put the blade in, the Ronson blade, as you can see it's got a little ribbon of material going around this wheel. That's your shopping material because you would take it. When the blade got dull, you would just put it in and go like that. Uh, time or two flip the blade over same thing and that that strops your blade 
and it's just a really cool I've heard of these razors never seen one until now so I thought that was cool put the Ronson back oops no 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 hang on guys oops hang on There we go. That's in right. The plate was too down, far down in the front. Put that back. Or does it go the other way? Okay, not close. The cigar case for the blades was was part way up. The next thing, this will make you smile because it has a smile itself. Straight razor, not sure of the home, the hollow, not sure of the size of the blade, but this is called a smiling blade because if you look, it smiles. Dips down in front and then the bottom edge goes up like that. They call that a smiling blade. I'm not sure who makes this. I forget who makes it. Um, but that's got a little bit of grip there on the bottom of the tang. Top smooth. It has, these are like acrylic scales. So I thought this was really, really cool. I've always wanted a smiling blade. Now I got one. The last thing I'll show you is another straight but it's quite interesting and a bit ornate my brother-in-law he thinks the scales may be ivory it's this one as you can see the top of the spine has this real nice workman work work to it And there's the blade. Square point. Doesn't have any grip down here, but does up here from the thing. Has a cool little tail. But the thing that makes this really cool and a little risque and quite unique is this side. Check it out, guys. It's a little nymph lady where she's got vines and you know I guess this was the straight razor straight uh, straight razor users version of the ink pens that you could get back in the day where it had the girl in the bikini and if you turned it one way her bikini would disappear but yeah it's got my brother-in-law looked at it and he went, I can see her nipples. I can see her pubic area. So it's detailed. The face, not quite as detailed, but I mean, look at that, guys. That's just, that's all carved onto the scale. I mean, that is freaking awesome. I love this razor. I haven't even used it and I love it. It's definitely one that I'm going to get, get, well, it and the smiling blade. Definitely going to get them cleaned up and everything and hone and use them as soon as I can and like I said the other razor has been sent off to get worked on and when I get it back you guys it's it's awesome it's awesome let's just put it this way I call it a rocket canoe but you'll see why when I get it. anyways that's what I got for you guys that was my Christmas I hope you all enjoyed the video um Get this uploaded today or tomorrow. Today is, what is today? Wednesday. So I'll get it uploaded today or tomorrow. And if my computer and my phone don't get along and I can't get this edited and uploaded to YouTube, y'all have a happy new year. I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas. I hope all of you got wonderful shaving gifts. And I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.